Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Songs of Conquest, where today there is an awful lot of map for us to do an awful lot of conquest on, and I'm going to do my best to wrangle control over the songs better than I have on previous episodes. Uh, so, I believe we're at the end of this turn, right? Yeah, we're all out of movement. And you're still just sitting in the settlement. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. We're constructing stuff. Let's just move on. So it turns out we don't desperately need a fake court because there's one in the forest already. Ah, whatever. It's not a big deal. Hail, wielder. We would join your forces if you would have us. Help is always welcome. What can you tell me about the nearby lands? Oh, the Unseen Society has been digging up north, raising skeletons that they say are the ancient legionnaires of Aurelia. As if that would change anything. Order will come by my shield when we break these skeletons upon it. She just doesn't feel to me like a shield user, you know? Um, I guess, yeah, first of all, y'all should, like, stack up. And then... Okay. Small settlement can be bumped up to that and then we can do a little bit of building here so we ended up building a barracks there what we can do here is peasant hut into castle and set up a quarry so that we can actually um, have upgraded knights which totally rules am i worried about this right now no just storm spire is going to handle that we are headed north it's a lot of important stuff to do up north. A glimmer weave spinning wheel. Okay, I mean, I guess the slot was just empty before, so. A little bit more movement. And let's see about this castle. Okay, yeah, they're just pumping out, uh, pumping out fists of order. I do love a fist of order. You can just hang out there until we have enough money to hire again. So does Giandra have, yeah, Giandra has a little bit of space available here that we can probably hire these fellows in. The offering tree wants just about as much money as we have, which is fantastic. And then, yeah, there's a bandit hideout and stuff. Should probably grab it. Uh, next turn. You know, next turn. There's definitely other wielders running around on the map. We do not have vision of them, but we, we know they are taking their turns. All right, 10 offense and 10 defense for the next battle. Of course, always welcome. Yeah, let's run over here and grab this gold mine real fast. I think we probably would just rather have the money. Deal with that in a second. Do I wish to attack? Yeah, absolutely. I'm a little surprised they're not just um, vanishing, you know? So we probably don't actually want... Like, if people are going to be attacking... Yeah, the, the one thing that I wish this screen showed was um, is, is the like, general initiative... I get that they might not want to break it down by unit by unit there, but, like, they should at least tell you, like, you know, this army is faster than your army or whatever. So you have a sense of whether it makes more sense to start further back. Uh, yeah, I think we're definitely just going to bum rush these dudes. If I throw a quick boiling blood on them, you're guaranteed to finish them off. Yeah. 
I guess if I don't run all the way over here to deal with this, this guy could be a problem. Although also I could lower his initiative down to 19, which does get him behind. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's how we'll solve that problem. That only changed that. Yeah, it didn't change the number of troops he was behind by very much, did it? All right, it's fine. Ow. Uh, that's actually really annoying. Never mind. It's not fine. None of the things that are happening here are fine. Yeah, all right. We'll just do this. Let this guy have his turn. Oh, okay. He chose to attack incorrectly. I would go so far as to say that's just the wrong target. This is why they are just bandits. You need better leadership. Ooh, a bone scimitar. Would I rather have six offense than nine defense? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Plus, now she looks cool. All right. Let us... These don't look recruitable. No, okay, kind of figured. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm gonna try to li limit the amount of recruitment that we do with Giandra because uh, obviously we're still quite short on money. Y'all can just hang out for a second. Let's let the enemies creep up on us. Okay, and this thing is a charger, so we probably do want to uh, just stay back with this unit as well. Do they maintain their... They do not. They do not maintain their bonus melee offense past the end of their own turn. Alright, it does feel like we just want to have you finish that off, so... Put some damage on these ones. In particular, I would love it if this guy was just standing here all the way through the next round and blocking his uh, his teammates. Yeah, I don't have a particularly strong reason to move, right? Like, let's let them come forward and then we will devour them. You don't quite have the movement range we would like it. We'd have to gain um, actually two spaces. Could chain lightning. Chain lightning is going to do what? Actually, like a really significant amount of damage to these guys. Jumps to an additional troop within two hexes two times. So... Yeah, that was, I was testing. We did not know for sure whether or not it would affect friendly units. Now we know. And I guess we can like boil your blood and cover you with insects and yeah. The two hex jump range is really like, that's pretty controllable. Mm. 
that is a thing where we do not generally, I think, need to be worried about losing uh, people. Okay, you're good. And how is the settlement doing? Let's see here. So we would, we definitely want to put up a castle. Yep, and a quarry. Okay. Obviously, I want to upgrade that too, but celestial ore. We really need a, uh, a source of this stuff. Okay, that's a much more sensible upgrade cost. Wow, there are a lot of really, really tightly woven uh, interactables here. Did it auto-equip that cloak? It totally did. It is not better. <laughs> Uh, these troops would love to join us. You know? Uh, yeah, welcome aboard. Because those guys are shields of order. These are just militia and kind of who cares. But I will absolutely take a full stack of shields of order. That's fantastic. Some more gold, and certainly all of it's worthwhile, and this is a great big gate. The land had been dug into, old ruins laid bare, and ancient history explored. The Unseen Society had, together with the Barony of Loth, delved deep into the past, and somehow found ways to bring it back. And it looks absolutely rad. We definitely need to get in on some of this necromancy. I know it's frowned upon or whatever, but like... But like, honestly, who cares? Alright. An ornate breastplate, which is... Okay, that's the armor we were already wearing, I believe. Well, it doesn't look like this place is ready to repel us. It seems they are between 25 and 100 in number. I buy that. That seems possible. Oof. They do have quite a superior setup, don't they? The gate has... 500 HP. Well, I mean, that's... we. You know what? We had stacks doing 500 damage last time. I, I, it's actually not probably a big deal. Y'all can just kind of stay back. So this costs one movement and ends the turn. I am actually inclined to quicken you and you... And what the hell, you. Just so I can get him down here and perform protect. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. That's a lot of... That's a lot of useful troops there. Uh, these guys don't have a lot of health individually, though, so... Some boiling blood and some insect swarm should, over time, strip them quite bare. Yeah, I think we really just have to, like, we have to push it. You guys have pretty good damage output. Oh, 
Okay, we are taking a real beating from these ballista. How much health do they have? 50? Boiling blood is like exactly wrong. Should I be doing something different? You know what? We're gonna rally. We're gonna chaos step you guys forward so that we can work on their casters already. All right, that is pretty fantastic, actually. It's a really, really, really good chaos step. Uh, yeah, sadly I can't get to any of the siege weaponry this turn. Things are bad news. Uh, can I? No, probably not. You know what? We'll just re rally and y'all can, like, yeah, we're not going to make it anywhere with you either. All right, now we have chaos step, though. And the question is, like, do we want to... I can't Chaos Step to the location I want. I could, if I run down here first... Yeah. That works better. I am out of movement. That'll get that thing a little bit, uh, a little bit fucked up for next turn. Sadly, all we can do. I should be able to actually shoot this from here, though. That's something. Damn it. Uh, yeah, sure. The important thing is just get the ability to move forward more. All right, so if that was just the gate, like, I wonder if we will still have to fight at the center of town. No, okay, we can we can make it now. Uh, so we can occupy it. All small dwellings produce bonus units plus 40% spell damage power. Or I can properly convert it, and then obviously, you know, we can make use of units and stuff. I mean... 3,000 gold per round plus 40% spell damage power. That's definitely compelling. I'm assuming it's easy to break an occupation, though. Probably if, if somebody's able to bring their wielder over and win a battle, it just unoccupies instantly. Whereas if we convert it, you know, they'll have to actually convert it back. At the very least, it'll take a lot longer. Uh, do I want more, more troop slots? More than I want... The higher tier spells? Probably not. The higher tier spells are awfully powerful. Okay, wood and amber. That's just a lean to, which I guess was recruitment for this faction. And they have an impressive force with them. Or rather, I no longer have an impressive force with me. Unexpectedly, a group of ragged froglings had made a home in the swamp of Riverbottom on the edge of the Loth Barony. Rana, another ancient threat. You do not belong here. 
But a human told us we could be here. Baron Aldous gave us this swamp. Aldous is our enemy. It's curious that he would be the one to grant you permission, but your lives end here. Rana, the marsh adapts. Defend the younglings. Okay, that's... I don't feel great about that. I guess this is a fine setup. We don't really know what we're up against here. Okay, they seem to just be run forward and stab you units. Well, okay, that being the case, I guess just, um, just let them approach. So it is interesting, like, there is a... It's much easier to keep our units safe from them on this side than it would be under normal circumstances. Because there's this really tight terrain bottleneck. Um, I think I want to run forward to here. This will give me a good... Yeah, a clean shot at the incoming. And we definitely ought to start burning these dudes down. You also boil. Alright, they're still not actually in a threatening position just yet, so we're going to continue waiting for them to come to us. Wow, 30 to 36. Okay, that that group is just about done for. Uh, we can just wipe this group out entirely. Two friendly troops have already made their turn. Get another turn in the same round. Wow, rejuvenation seems awfully good. That's about the end of that. Uh, you know what? Actually, you guys can just kind of hang out. Yes, we're going to get our ranged attack off here. I probably don't have to do too much more. I do feel bad for them, because it seems like they probably were actually allowed to be here. <laughs> well, we are playing a remarkably, cru uh, remarkably cruel little faction here. Okay, bunch of essences for one battle. Some kind of swamp beast. What a time to run out of out of movement. All right, so we have a little bit of incoming. If I take this out, we have another path. I don't know that we need it, but we have it. All right, so that quarry's going over here. Everything is as built up as it's getting, right? Oh, right, I was gonna get rid of this. Um, let me... So do we want to grab some sappers before I deconvert that building? I 
guess so. There's like, there's no reason not to do it, right? Okay. Defend with wielder. Sell this. Turn it into a lumber mill. Okay. Our minor settlements are coming online. Even though this is listed as risky, I think we probably do want to we do want to take it on cuz we want to be able to reinforce our allies as soon as possible. And also just generally create a lot of paths between the two settlements. Remove from battle for one round then reappear in target hex without any movement. Weakens nearby enemies, has spell damage resist. Those are annoying units. Right, let's soften up that stack a little bit. I'm a little worried about how, the, how this bur burrowing thing is going to work out in practice. Huh, we don't really get to see. Oh, do I want to put, my put myself through that? That seems actually a lot more dangerous than I was expecting. And we'll probably just get eaten by these guys on their turn. You know what? I'm not going to move forward. This should get you in deadly range. Okay. Now let's do some, some serious harm here. Troops get initiative and movement. Mist is definitely not going to do anything for us. Yeah, I guess it's just time for, it's just time for murder. as well cast our two damage spells defenses and yeah let's do it probably not a great idea to just run back there that doesn't doesn't seem optimally useful I don't know if that's going to have any effect on his pathing, but it would be cool if it did, right? Okay. You, we can just shut down completely. These are definitely surprisingly tough. Two hundred and forty damage would only be four of you. But there's nobody else around, you'll be the only one to take it. Oh right, spell resist too. Yeesh. Do I just want to like dimensional door, my fey nobles. I do like doing a little bit of damage. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just commit. We got to get through these things, right? Okay, I do not love this. Hmm. 
Yeah, all right. I know you're partially magic resistant, but I don't have a lot of, uh, don't have a lot of other things to do here. Not expecting that to have any effect. Yeah, wow, this has been um, not ideal. This might be a good turn actually to throw up some stakes here. Well, it was going to come around this way anyway, it turns out. Ugh, and if we do Chain Lightning again, we're close enough that it actually will jump. Well. Resistant to magic damage, but we gotta try. Running up and attacking this thing is going to lead to my troop getting deleted eventually. But all we can really do at this point is just like group up on them and bully them, right? Uh, how far can you move? Not really that far. What I would really love is if I could get a turn where this thing couldn't move to within two tiles of me, because what I really want is um is to hit it with the chain lightning. I guess I can Yeah, I can chaos step you over here. Then just cast spells on it till it dies. <laughs> that was actually really close. I am a little worried about uh, about rebuilding this army too. But I think we don't have any other choice. Uh, kind of want to investigate where this portal goes. Never mind. Structure's been destroyed. Yeah, let's uh send you back in this direction. So I think we're going to get caught before before we can get out of here. This doesn't look like it doesn't look like such a bad fight. Okay, that is, you know, provided, of course, that he actually does want to fight us, because otherwise, uh, he's free to leave. I would be happy to help him leave. Okay, so you have that upgraded. Should definitely upgrade this as well. Can I, yeah, I want to upgrade them as well. I have to be able to upgrade the whole stack at once, right? And they do require the purple stuff. All right, well, I kind of think... Yeah, turn's already over. Okay, so we got ourselves a brand new fortress. With a Fey Grove and a Barracks. Okay, there's a lot of good stuff going on here. Do we have a... No, one thing we do not have is a Rally Point. 
which I cannot make because it requires three ore. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, being out of celestial ore actually sucks. It sucks so much. And I don't see any. Oh, there's some. There's some just laying down over there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to do except just run through here, right? So we can grab this buff on the way out. Okay, cool. The tools of the Master Mason. A trinket that gives two stone. I, yeah, I don't think that's worth equipping. Once we got some celestial ore, we can at least do a little bit more setup. I mean, is the rally point the best way to use it? Since it is so limited, I do think we have to like... We have to really think about it a little bit. It's convenient, but honestly, like, we're probably pushing west in the rest of the adventure and it may it may make more sense for there to be a rally point down here and all this all the uh, army buildings up here uh i do feel like the grand armory is the next thing to go up but again that does require does require the ore i think i'm going to upgrade the barracks it's it's pretty important to have these upgraded troop production buildings. At least it seems so to me. Oathbound inspectors, huh? Yeah, all right. Probably the ranged units don't need to start so far back. I will say the unit that is like the only one in his stack is probably not super long for employment here. For the moment, let's just let them approach. All right, I was kind of hoping they would leave this approach a little bit more open, but I mean, this seems sufficient. How fast do you actually move? Okay, so five. We could go like one, two, three, four, five. Get in on these guys without the specter uh, having to say so about it. And then also, you know, lots and lots and lots of damage bonus. Definitely worth it to move into high ground. A little worried about that. That feels like, uh, here, let's hit rally first. All right, still retaliation, but I guess retaliation from a smaller number of enemies now. There we go, pretty straightforward. All right, now that we have this whole extra city, uh, at the very least, we're gonna have a lot of incomes, you know? 
Ooh, I wish I knew what the level cap was. Is she at it? Because like I do want more like more command slots. Obviously, is going to be super valuable at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take it. And a treasure chest level three. Never mind. I can't actually open that. That's how those work. All right, what do you have available to draft here? Kind of a lot of stuff. Uh, we definitely have the thread. So you're on a full stack of those. And then... Oh right, this is the ore. It's not the not the presence of the mill that we're missing. So if I can't upgrade the rangers, I guess I'm out of money anyway. We can consider bringing more with us later. And you are completely out of movement. So um, unfortunately, I all right. I'm gonna drop a jump cut in here. Something in real life I have to take care of real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Continuity. Let's let's get back to it. Uh, so can we see? Yeah, okay. I can see the 20 is not the level cap. So we'll be able to continue on with Cecilia. I have no idea how much more uh, time and fighting is left in this mission, but there's an awful lot of maps still uncovered. So or a lot of maps still covered, still, still to uncover. I can't get to that because there's a giant helmet floating in front of it. This visored barbute plus 12 defense. Yeah, that's a pretty significant upgrade over the one I was using, right? I will, uh, I will, I will absorb the vision loss. It's fine. Okay, there is stuff down here, but Cecilia doesn't particularly need to be involved with that. Cecilia needs to continue north. I guess let's, let's make a quick tribute to this chaos, or this uh, essence type. And then we still have that settlement to reach. So with 9,000 gold left, like, what do we really care about? We still don't quite have the celestial ore for upgrades down here. I guess we're just using this for recruiting, probably. Well, hold on. Do I need to make another... Do I need to make any other upgrades to the big settlement? I'm not allowed to build... To construct a building that gives me celestial ore, am I? Because we could build the rally point, but given given how tight we are on that resource, it feels like maybe kind of a silly thing to do. You know, honestly, a marketplace is probably the right play. That way we can at least buy some celestial ore. That's another gold mine... Yeah, stuff's just hard to come by. Okay, so yeah, let's have you recruit now. What makes sense to draft? Uh, this army could still use... Well, I mean, it needs the upgraded versions of these troops, for sure. Um, we, we still need just kind of like big, tough, stompy guys. Somebody to hold the enemies back. So we'll just hire as many of these dudes as we can for the moment. We are beginning to uh, be able to see the enemy wielders, so I'm a little nervous that we might um, places might get attacked soon. Rarely do humans see the face of the Fae spirits, for they wear masks, uh, the masks of their larger cousins, the Horned Ones and the Fae no Nobles. But as Konica, the Bandit Queen of Silver Lake, learned, you shouldn't let their size fool you. These tricksters are fierce protectors of the tender wild. For some reason, that <laughs> reading that verse gave us bonus offense. All right, there's some troops from Stone Breach up here. Y'all want to join a war? Let's see here. I 
I probably at this point should just disband the horned one, right? Okay, so we'll handle that next turn. Uh, stuff is still building up here. Yeah. We are going to need a lot of uh, a lot of money in the end. Don't think our stone income... Well, like, once we have the marketplace up, all incomes are valuable, right? Because they all translate into money. So I suppose pursuing these is is reasonable. Uh, there's not going to be much else to upgrade around here, though. Nope, not that. Uh, this one. Now the settlements are at max uh, max level, which is important. The settlement in the big city can continue to upgrade, right? What do I need? Okay. Enough stone and wood that bonuses to stone and wood income are actually meaningful. So I'm going to save... Well, we're short enough on wood. Like, it's going to be a little bit before we can afford that no matter what. I can, I can grab troops for a little while longer, I think. Let's do three here to fill up that slot. And then... I mean, like, grabbing another set of Fey Ragers is probably reasonable. And they're not, they're not horribly, horribly expensive. But it's going to take a little while for them to build up anyway. Okay, yeah, that's starting to get real close to my territory. Absolutely give me that gold. <laughs> Without question, give me that gold. Steal some apples, get some XP. Okay, more troops from Stone Breach. Uh, do I want to run upright first? A little bit. Gosh, it feels like a little bit of a waste that I can't pass any of these troops back, back home because it like, there's so much stuff that we're being offered for free. So that wielder is... Yeah, they're near enough that I'm, like, pretty worried. Let's just go ahead and recruit. I could pick up... We probably should do this. Let's go ahead and, and upgrade those. Should I just do another slot of fake queens? Because they sure do hit hard. Apparently they have an interesting ability as well. But like next turn I could just grab a stack of rangers and call it good. Yeah, maybe that's the move. Wow, dude is fast. Okay, uh... Yeah, let's... So, 20 rangers doing 2-3 to three damage each versus 4 fey queens doing 25-30 to 30 damage each. I guess it's not actually that difficult of a calculation. And then we just, uh, we get moving. Unfortunately, it is going to take me a minute to get there. <laughs> Cecilia is not going to be able to make it back too much faster. It does feel like if we want to bounce this dude, though... Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure that we have the opportunity to do so. All right, 
and you're in charge of uh Gnaw is in charge of the southern settlement until we can figure things out a little bit. Okay. Changed his mind. Now what he might be trying to do is just catch um, our weaker army on the march, right? We don't get the free measurement of his difficulty level, but we have a sense of how tough his troops are. What I'm going to do here is run by we'll approach the settlement through the woods be a little bit safer uh, I definitely want you all forward yeah honestly I might have started those uh, those horned ones too far forward well they get to go first I can just chaos step. I'm opening myself up to uh, to really getting mauled if I do that, which is worrying, but... Hmm. Why is this troop... Is the initiative of a stack affected by the number of units in it? Because this stack has 19 initiative and this stack has 24. It could be a little random. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just earth block here, right? Cause it's only, it's only that way that he can actually reach us. Yeah, we'll just throw an earth block. And then I am gonna chaos step these guys. Stack is just gonna bear it's gonna bear the weight of their of the enemy's anger for a bit is all. Two spaces forward should just give us range to fire, although it's not like good. So I really I'd rather move over here, I think. Yeah, shoot, I can't really do anything meaningful anyway. Well, Okay, we have the ability to take all of the magic resistance. I'm just gonna boil these guys and let them die that way. Yeah, that'll that'll mostly get the job done next time it ticks. I think for right now we just kinda wait, right? I can get a little bit more central. I don't think I would want to split my attacks up. I think we, we definitely want to focus here. All right, simple enough. Yeah, these fate troops are cool. I think most of, most of what's really feeling powerful is the fact that our wielders are buffed to insane uh, stat levels, but the troops are neat as well. Uh, we're already kind of having a difficulty filling the army, but more more creation spells. More tears on our spells, rather. Seems like a real easy hell yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm actually just gonna go through here... We'll keep Cecilia nearby in case that guy turns around again. All right, that means we're sitting on money for a second, so we'll be able to afford this pretty soon. Oh, actually, I thought it, I was misremembering. I thought it was 50 wood. Yeah, okay, we'll be able to afford it next turn, in fact. And it definitely seems like we should go for it. Jeez, look at that. 
All right, so now that we have a marketplace, I am gonna go ahead and build the rally point because I think we really want the rally point up. And we'll buy more celestial ore when we need it for our other purposes. Okay, already pillaged, but not marked as pillaged. I really wish that the, um, if there's not a reward for moving there, it should be obvious from the, the tooltip. Sadly, that is not how they are doing it. All right, first of all, this is my gold mine, obviously. slowly disrupt all of their incoming magics. And I think we're just going to go up here and through the road because I, I believe the walls of the town are going to be like right up there. All right, he's claiming some of our outbuildings around the middle settlement. Not super shocking. Uh, yeah, do we have room for, I mean, that's it, right? I would probably rather have, well, first of all, hold on. We can make this a single stack of you guys. I would definitely rather have the archers or the, the 20 archers than the footmen. The question is, would I rather have 10 shields of order than 20 footmen? Or maybe it's like 10 shields of order versus four queen's guards. 99 offense, 20 to 24 damage. No, even with the bigger troop size, that doesn't make any sense. The damage values are just not, they're not anywhere close. Maybe over 33 militia? Oh, if these are just standard militia. Okay, these are sappers, that's why. I was like, why didn't they stack? I think I would I would rather have 22 sappers, for sure. So yeah, the question is, like, do we bring the sappers? Do we bring the shields? And I guess the answer is the sappers. Thirty health. Versus 18 health. Yeah, you know what? I will make this move. Okay. I think that's pretty all right. Uh, first of all, let's grab the water mill. That's mine. Secondly, this is mine. You're not allowed to have this. All right. Yeah, we are definitely, even if these troops weren't going to immediately surrender, we are definitely in condition to uh, to take this place by force. For sure, give me the gold. I think we're going to hit the crumbling tower before we make it back to the settlement, because, you know, there's probably... Pretty significant amount of XP waiting for us up there. All right, the fortress at Evergrace. So with their wielder running around here, I think it does behoove us to make sure that Gnaw has a real army. Real armies are very expensive uh, propositions, unfortunately. Well, we'll start with that. Yeah, he's just gonna take the whole thing. Unless somebody goes up there and murders the entire shit out of him. That said, I don't feel like we're ready to leave just yet. That's pleasant. Everybody, everybody look at this corpse and get some XP. 
just in case you hadn't heard of dying yet. As the Stoutheart forces battled their way toward the fortress, many peasants came out to gather around them. You're not with the Barony of Loth. We are not. We're here to put an end to this madness. Oh, then Stonebreach will stand with you if able. Please destroy these monsters and bring order back to the land. The cultists promised brighter days, a return to the glorious empire. But we need only to look around to see that isn't true. Well, it's nice that they're able to do that at least. The empty promises of ghosts. Yeah, we're having a lot of trouble with that <laughs> around these parts as well, actually. Alright, so this will be 50. Yeah, okay. So it's going to be a while before we have the stone and the wood for the big fortress upgrade here, but good. Lots of space to put in things. So. Okay. Already got a grand armory running. That's really great news. An upgraded barracks. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't know what else we would want to do here. Aside from, like, another rally point, eventually. Oh, no, wait, that's pillaged already. Don't worry about that. I was kind of hoping we were going to get a little bit more gold. Well, we have lots of uh, lots of space around here to improve our income. I kind of thought this might be a more difficult task. Like, she really didn't have to fight all that much to get this done. Okay. Uh, there it is. We'll just go ahead and quick battle that. Oof. We managed to kill a single one of their tiniest, tiniest dudes. That feels bad. <laughs> well, I do want to make sure that we're claiming all this stuff here. Uh, okay, these are not even upgraded. Those are just minstrels. You're not actually going to be useful. I mean, let's let's grab the armor rack, hit the blacksmith, and then I guess probably head back. Celestial gauntlets and a boar spear. Yep, we'll just head back down. Okay, this is still pillaged. It's weird that, like, they don't... It's not like they don't want you to have that information without walking up to it, because we can see it there. Yeah, I don't know. You get, it, you get it on mouse over anyway. So... I suppose an academy is, like, the next most sensible thing, right? We have a Grand Armory already. We have a couple of Fey Courts. It may be worth building another Fey Court, but honestly, like, at this point, our recruitment, our biggest recruitment obstacle is still gold. Uh, you're not going to be in much of a state to actually fight that army. Maybe I don't give you a lot more troops. Let's go interact with the rally point here. We'll fill this army up. Uh, I think we can probably just disband these guys and take We gotta get we gotta get some stuff upgraded. We're producing way too many unupgraded troops. Yeah, archers are not a bad idea. And maybe we don't actually go very far. Just move like a little bit forward. 
the the little gate the gate closing animation is really cute. So next turn we'll hit the rally point, finish filling up that slot, and then we'll run south and see what we can make of it. And you will just wait a second. So he's doing a conversion. That's the that's the long one. He's going to be in there for a second. Let's push him. Would I discard something for knights? Probably not. Our our existing troops are very upgraded. They're they're definitely good at what they do. All right, bonuses for the battle ahead. And at this point, I think the, the move is this guy grabs as many meaningful troops as he can and just shows up as secondary meat, basically. Just how much, how much damage can we do? All right, so both of them are in threatening positions now. Do I think we need to bring Cecilia back or can Cecilia continue to like push westward? I'm going to I'm going to put my trust in those dudes down there. They'll they'll figure it out. See if we can limit the uh, the reinforcement options for this enemy. All right, small settlement is converted. I would assume he'll run south, yeah, because he'll run toward the easier the easier force to fight. Human, I know your scent. It was you who took the urn of Aurelia. You committed this evil act. The world isn't divided into good and evil, nor right and wrong. I was a fool to have believed that once, but I am still a knight and I'm upholding my oath to the Baron and serving the people of Loth. Your words are empty. We will destroy you for your actions. You brought this battle upon yourselves. A, a branch can only bend so far before it snaps. Okay, we're getting massively murdered here, obviously. Uh, but let's see how much damage we can do on the way out. It doesn't look like it's going to be a lot. His individual troops aren't all that good. All right, we're definitely going to take a bunch of damage from the archers. No way to stop that from being true. And we can move to here and go into defense mode. Be a lot of frustrating magic nonsense going on around here. Okay, these enemies are mostly not really in a position to stop me from just running forward and shooting garbage at them. Swap place between two target troops, you know? I hadn't really thought about using this on enemies before, but it does make some sense, doesn't it? We can set this guy back enough that he can't attack us. And then I can blow up half of their ability to shoot ranged weapons. That feels pretty okay. don't really have any magic available, so murders instead. Justice is pretty rough on, on this stack. I 
Okay, so Pacify is going to be active until the end of this unit's turn. Our bolts of, ran ran of energy at random enemies, spreading your, like, the normal attack damage out. Okay. I have to say, I'm not too pleased with the amount of damage they've managed to leech out of me here. Who do I want to focus on? I guess, like... I don't know. It is pretty hard to say. Also, whose initiative do I want to screw up? Not really that scared of anybody here. And it is only a tier one spell. Maybe I won't even worry about it. Let's just do some damage to you. Yeah, having a hell of a time actually killing anybody here. Okay, this is for sure time to kill some archers. All right, you are so weakened that I hardly expect you to be able to do anything. will you nuke your initiative yeah it's pretty bad news we're gonna lose but we're gonna get a fair amount of damage out of it overall oh they fucked up my range well, that's really annoying. Hmm. Yeah, as much as I'm enjoying the high ground here, maybe it's time to just chaos step forward. I'm not even in deadly range here. It's really sad. We'll get my deadly range. And then... Yep. So our damage spells are pretty poor. Clouded Vision I don't think is... Super relevant here, given how close range everything is already. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't have a lot of faith in our spells to, uh, to help things out much. Alright, inflict as much damage as possible before we all die. Breaking some of their stacks down, it's working. Hmm. A bonus to range resistance with a duration of one troop turn. It's a little awkward. Sure does look like they're rallying, doesn't it? He's trying his hardest, you know? Yeah, get to take enjoy this lethargy and also this insect swarm. Can I cast it again? I think we're gonna be able to get one more guy off of this stack. Nope, not quite. 
All right, but that army is the the state that army's in. They are no match for um, Stormspire or Cecilia, obviously. Although Cecilia is very far away, we did lose some items, but we'll get them back. All right. The question is, can we catch him? Not this turn. I'm not going to stress about the settlement just yet. Let's let's put pressure on the dude. We will reclaim the settlement presently. And Cecilia will continue with the important work of whatever's going on over here. And so the Empress adopted the child of her enemy, the infant Hector of Stoutheart, and the island of Arleon was now united in peace and prosperity. May her mercy shine upon us all. All right, this building is already visited. First of all, gold, obviously, critically important. An old battlefield to teach us how to defend ourselves. Ooh, the Sword of Giants. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I think I want to check that out. That seems important. And let's see, is he just going to run from me? It would be the smart move. Uh, okay, so he's able to resurrect new stacks of zombies all the time. That makes sense. I think we'll probably just go ahead and quick battle because, you know, no chance that goes any other way. And let's undo the damage. Should be a pretty easy one. Does have the superior positioning now, I suppose. Uh, how much health do you have? 25. Okay, so I'd really love to just blast you out of that space so that we can get our troops in and start doing the real work of chopping up zombies and whatnot. Mm, I don't just kill these guys right away. That's a shame. Well, getting rid of the zombie stack is obviously pretty important, but... Reducing the total number of stacks the enemies have is also tremendously important. You are dealing so little damage. Minus 79%, minus 40%. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see it. They have a lot of ranged attack resistance in this army. Well, at the very least, let's run forward. Close up deadly range a little bit here. Alright, that was nice of him. Let's just not have to deal with that anymore. Uh, this is well outside deadly range. So let's fix that. Uh, yeah, I guess just just destroy the barricades makes sense. Do we want to... Well, you know what? I could swap, actually. Yeah, maybe the thing to do here is a swap. What if I swap you and you? Let these guys hang out over here. Uh, and then you can go destroy a barricade or something. That's going to make your deadly range three tiles. I guess he has a deadly range target anyway. It doesn't really change anything. But now you can get up here and start helping with this.
Target troop randomly attacks a troop adjacent to it. Not super useful right now. Yeah, we can just lay on the, the damage spells, right? It's not nothing, but every one of these dudes who's mi who's missing from this uh, the stack when we hit them is a little bit less um, retaliation damage I need to worry about. Okay, 9 to 11. I mean, those guys are not the highest priority. Yeah, the fact that this guy's out here was way more dangerous before this troop got reduced to a single body. And I do think it behooves us to finish the zombies as quickly as possible. Okay. Go ahead and sacrifice yourselves bravely. I will say this feels like they um it feels like they really armed up. This whole army got way more powerful in between last time when we last fought them and now. Uh, you are just outside of deadly range, aren't you? There we go. Took a little bit more out of us than I thought it was going to, but at least we've stopped the incursion. Got all of our gear back, and also some of his gear. I know how to defend a town with a wielder. I wasn't doing it on purpose. Okay, repair my guard tower. Did he mess with our buildings at all? No, it looks like everything is still... Oh, uh, he did level, level things down a little. Well... That's just annoying, is what that is. Alright, so we need, like, 10 Celestial Ore. Alright, wait, my marketplace is over here, sorry. Stuff's not cheap. Sorry, okay, here we go. Briefly lost track of where I was there. So I do want this upgraded. And obviously it's pretty important that this be upgraded. No, not that. Shoot. What I wanted to do was look at the troops thing. Yeah, make sure these were producing and housing upgraded troops. Oh, okay. You wouldn't think that would be such a pain. And then I guess you can just hang out here for a little while. I, You know what? We gotta recap the farmhouse. Alright, what's the deal with this Sword of Giants? Just permanent plus five offense and defense. Seems pretty solid to me. Remains of an ancient portal. It doesn't do any portaling. It just gives you a little bit of XP. That's fine, I guess. All right. Even a little bit of celestial ore income would be would be so nice. Oh, actually, we have quick buttons for access to the market and stuff up here. I don't need to go find the building. That's okay. That's handy. All right. Well, I'm a little embarrassed that that got as out of hand as it did, but we cleaned it up. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. We have pretty much taken over the east side of the map. I know we still have that one settlement to recapture. Uh, but once we've done that, we have our we have our whole front. Uh, and we have a lot of recruitment buildings. We have a lot of resource incomes. We have a powerful army, at least. And I think we're ready to uh, to wreak some havoc here. So come back next time for that, and we'll see you then.